In this segment, we're going to cover how you control who's able to enter internet department sites, libraries, and teams, and what they're able to do when they get there. Azure Active Directory is a core function of your organization's Microsoft 365 account that issues licenses to each eligible employee. Again, Active Directory is basically a giant directory of all of the individuals that your organization has extended a Microsoft 365 license to. As you might guess, each of these accounts is given a username and a password that allows them, amongst other things, to enter the environment and connect to their email account. When a company designs an intranet, there are typically department sites where individuals that work in the department are supposed to be able to enter, but not every employee in the organization. The way that is managed is simple. Active Directory allows the creation of what are called AD groups. Once created, an AD group can be applied to a specific SharePoint site. People placed in that group, which happens to happen in Active Directory, are now able to enter that SharePoint site. So an intranet that contains an operations department, an HR department, and a finance department would create AD groups called HR, finance, and operations. Into each of those groups would be placed the appropriate employees. To allow the employees into the site, you simply go to the site and identify the AD group that should be able to enter. For some departments, you may need more than one AD group. You may want a group where the individuals are able to edit documents and a second group where they are limited to just reading documents. When planning a new intranet, managers need to think about the team members that they have and the permissions they should have. This involves identifying which resources each person needs access to and organizing users into appropriate groups. This planning process helps ensure that everyone has the right level of access and makes the intranet more efficient and secure. Azure Active Directory groups also regulate Microsoft Teams participation. However, in a well-structured intranet, the same AD groups serve both purposes. This system of using named groups helps keep everything safe, organized, and running smoothly in a corporate intranet. 